Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of VGL Tech. I just recently finally got my hands on the latest Samsung Galaxy Fold. As you know, back in April, um, there were some issues with the, I guess, older version of the Samsung Galaxy Fold. So now they finally re-released um, the newest version, um, which, uh, which has a couple of fixes. Uh, as you know, there were some problems with the hinge and there were also some problems with the screen which people thought were a screen protector and they were just tearing them off. So you know what? Let's get started. As you can see here, the Galaxy emblem, it's a pretty interesting design. And on the side it has the Samsung Galaxy Fold and as you can see, this is the AT&T version of the Fold. Um, and here comes my trusty knife that I usually use. And if you notice, I have two Fortnite characters there. The reason being is because the Samsung Galaxy, like uh, other Samsung Galaxy Notes and other Galaxy phones, you can play Fortnite on it. So I will be playing some Fortnite on it just to demo it out, just to see how it looks and for you to also see what it looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. I'm just going to pull it out of the package right here. And as you can see, we have another box. So there is a white box within the black box Galaxy cover. And as you can see here, there is uh, looks a very nice box. And you can see the logo there. Uh, it's written white. And also there's a tab. To where it tells you to lift the cover off and here we have the main galaxy fold all wrapped nice and neat i'm just gonna set this on the side as we open the box more to see what else is in here here is another cover that holds the fold and underneath uh, the little pamphlet little sheet of paper that tells us what the fold is about and also here is the Galaxy Fold Premier service that they mentioned. Um, it's a 24 hour, 24 by seven service uh, for Galaxy Fold users. And there is a specific number in there and also a website to go to for support. And next we have another container which contains the two protective covers um, for the Galaxy Fold and also the manual uh, for the Galaxy Fold with the AT&T logo on there. As you can see, there are the two uh, protective covers and also a SIM card ejector and also instructions on how to stick the covers onto the Fold. And as you can see, they just breaks apart well, one break apart, they just separate two separate pieces. And you can see there, there's a sticky piece right there and a sticky piece right there. So it would hold in place on the fold. Um, you don't actually have to peel the stickiness off, but if you want to, you can. And as you can see, it's pretty bendable. It's not like it's a hard cover. And on the outside, you can see the little fold emblem. It says fold on there. And next we have the SIM card from AT&T. As you can see here is your typical micro SIM and next up is the box that contains the USB-C to USB-C cable uh, that you can also hook up to a power supply and next we have the small box thin box which has a bunch of ear tips for the different size of ear tips for the Samsung earphones and as you can see the Samsung earphones pretty small pretty nice it's very lightweight and it's supposed to compete with Apple AirPods as you can see the Samsung earbuds also say sound by AKG and when you try to open it you can see it's already trying to pair uh, with your Samsung device uh, you have the left and the right and they're pretty much magnetic so they won't fall out even if you try to shake them so most like most 
wireless headphones they're magnetic and like I said before very nice very small very compact next up we have the wall charger from Samsung and also the USB to USB-C uh, adapter and I believe that is all that's left in the package let's go ahead and move on to the actual phone itself okay and as you can see here there is a wrapping on the phone with some care instructions um, most of the instructions are say do not press hard uh, do not place heavy objects on it do not put water dust do not attach any adhesive to the screen and watch out because there's magnets in there so let's go ahead and open it as you can see here that the fold is already opened up is not closed and it's pretty it's a pretty big phone and as you see it's very shiny very reflective and let's go ahead and put the case on okay as you can tell the case just snaps right into place the left side and the same thing on the right as you can also notice that I did not peel the adhesive off because I like to have the case on without the adhesive yet and let's go ahead and try the first fold and as you can see it's a pretty strong magnet and also the phone supposed to have magnets on the side that's what makes it snap right back into place and as you can see here that's where Samsung gets the fix so prevent the lint from getting in and also as you can see there's the polymer it is no longer showing so users can no longer pull the polymer off since it sits underneath the bezel as you can see the USB-C and the speaker there and also there is another speaker on top so let's go ahead and get this booted up on the side where you have you would hold the power button to turn it on and as you can see the Samsung fold boot up process and as we wait there's some key specs I like to go over First off, the CPU is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor. It has 12 gigs of memory. The storage is 512 gigs of universal flash storage. What that means is that it can read data twice as fast as other smartphones. And also for connectivity as a USB-C and also a Bluetooth 5.0. Now the screen size folded is 4.6 inches with a resolution of 1680 by 720. Now the screen unfolded, the screen size is 7.3 inches with a resolution of 2152 by 1536. The battery is a 4380 milliamp for the LTE model and 4,235 milliamp for the 5G model. The operating system is running Android 9.0 Pi and the weight is around 9.2 ounces. So instead of going through the whole initial initialization screen, let's just get to the main thing, which is playing Fortnite. As you can see, the Epic login page or the login startup screen and we have the starter screen and this is how it looks starting up got some people that asked to join me and we're just gonna go ahead and start the boot up process
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Please leave a comment and please subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.